such a beautiful day. It feels so pure and good, like I'm in the, in the middle of God's great goodness and generosity to us where we have medicine at our fingertips and a beautiful, a beautiful temple to pick it from. And it's all good. It's just, it's a holy goodness that, that is uh, so much a part of our lives if we just uh, participate. And it's so simple and easy and it's free medicine too, if you want to put in the effort of finding it and figuring out how to use it and what to do with it. It's an investment of time and love. Alrighty, here we are. Be careful. Ooh, ah! Ow! <laughs> Good thing I'm upholstered well. <laughs> We're looking for um, Kota and um, Skova de Vivora. And there's Skova de Vibora there. It's just coming into a nice full bloom. In another week's time, it's going to be, maybe two weeks, it's going to be all yellow. Skova de Vibora is extra good for treating pain. Uh, you can put it into a, a bath, a hot bath. You can uh, boil it and make a tea that you rub on your, on your sore spots, like with a washcloth. Um, you can dry it and uh, grind it into a powder that you work into like a, a cream. It's, it takes the pain away. Uh, physical pain, it takes it away. It's lovely. It must treat inflammation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is the male of Skova. Its main purpose is to pollinate the female. So I don't really pick the male for the remedio. The female is more, it's more fluorescent. The color is more vibrant and the blooms are more numerous. So this one's really nice. So I like to pick where you can't tell I picked. So I sort of just thin it, no? And I like to leave some for the bees. And I believe the medicine for Scova de Vibora is in the bloom, not the root. So I don't pick the root, which is good because it leaves plenty for the bees. Not only for this year, but in, you know, the years to come. This Scova de Vibora, I'm going to make a simple uh, household cream by boiling it in uh, into a tea with torito, the goat head, and um, gara, the virgin uh, herb of the virgin. Uh, the herb of the virgin makes it uh, very agreeable to be applied topically. It, it's a very nice. Uh, it's a comforting herb. The torito and the scova de vibora will treat pain. So I'll make a real simple uh, three herb tea, a strong tea that I will then boil, uh, I will boil it into um, a good oil to make a, a, a nice everyday cream for uh, pain, soreness, uh, bruising, tired feet, tired hands, wonderful. And you could even put a, a let's say, a, a scoop of it, a spoonful of it into a hot bath and soak into it. So soak in it. So it's going to be a nice everyday handy uh, remedio for daily use in anybody's home who works hard. That's a nice amount for a, for a small batch. Here's a beautiful herb. This is Gara. Herb of the Virgin. This is a nice multi-purpose herb that treats the skin, skin rashes. Uh, it's really done well this year. We can put Gara in the muscle balm because when you're treating pain, you want to look at the big picture. 
Um, we're going a little farther down this arroyo to where it drops, right, right over here, and then we're going to be uh, picking some um, beautiful cota. The cota, we like to drink it, but it's also beneficial to the skin. I use cota in, um, in um, eight amazing herbs, one of my tinctures to treat the urinary tract. These are good herbs too, the blue trumpets. Blue trumpets are more for a specialized skin uh, preparation. But it's good to know the blue trumpets are so abundant right now. We'll come back this weekend and pick those. Here we have some kota. It's coming into bloom. It's like really ready right now. I'll harvest a little bit of this one. We use the stem and the flower. So that one's still blooming. I like to leave some for the bees. This one's still blooming. This one's just about ready to pick. I'll just pick a little bit of that. That one's nice. This one's ready. It's so beautiful. And that's nice there. To make a good tea or a remedio to clean your urinary tract. That's a kota, or just an enjoyable alternative to coffee. That's a good one. Okay, this is the kota tea that we picked and we dried it, we tied it into little bundles. This is uh, really good for the urinary tract. It's great to have kota tea maybe uh, once, a week, once a week or so in the winter time to refresh your uh, kidneys and uh, bladder during the colder months when we find ourselves inside sitting more. Um, that's a nice amount there. It's, it's pretty strong, but it has a delicious flavor even if you cook it strong. So we'll add some boiled water to that. Okay, we'll let it steep for five minutes. Okay, and now we can sit down and rest, take a little break, and enjoy this beautiful kota tea. Hmm, nice.